Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Welcome to a new series actually. We're going to look at some basic Morrowind modding tutorials. We start with opening the construction set, as simple as that. You want to open your uh, data files and select at least one master file, the Morrowind. You can't do without that one. Personally, I would really recommend you also select Tribunal and Blood Moon. Back in the day, you would want to avoid having those because it would force the players to have both expansions or one or the other to play your mod. But let's face it, nowadays most people either have already purchased the two expansions or they buy the Gotti version that has the expansion. So it's not so much of a problem. On top of that, having all three ESMs brings a number of advantages. The first one is you're going to obviously have all the assets from Tribunal and Blood Moon. That would be creatures, objects, but also scripts and functions that you may not need at first, but then again you might need. Why not have them? And finally, that's probably the main reason why I would recommend having all three. If you only start with Morrowind, sure you can click OK and you're good to go. But as you save your mod, some uh, game settings are going to be created. We call them the evil GMSTs and you don't want them. You have to clean them out every single time you edit your mod. Not going to be a problem if you have Tribunal and Blood Moon. So let's go ahead and use them. Obviously you're free to just have Morrowind. Remember to clean those evil um, GMSTs. Right now I got a warning. Something about dialogue. Uh, that comes when you have Blood Moon I think. They're completely harmless, but as you can see, there's a bunch of them. You can get rid of that, and I really, really recommend you do. Different ways you can do that. Uh, you can go and uh, edit your Morrowind Eni file. Where's mine? Right there. Now, unless you know what you're doing, I would not recommend you, you change anything in there, unless you have instructions from a modder. There's a couple of mods. Uh, creatures from Pirate Lord, I would recommend you to change a couple of settings. Um, uh, Star Wars Girl Skies also recommend to change a few settings. Unless you have some very precise instructions from the modder, you don't want to play with that. But right now we want just to change one setting that... not test. Yes, thank you. There it is. Allow yes to all. You put one, you're going to save your Morrowind any file and then you'll just click on cancel and you're not going to have the same question for the same for all these um, warnings that you're getting. I'm not going to save it right now because we have a much better tool nowadays. Most of us use the Morrowind graphic extender that, well, gives us the distant land and all kinds of fancy things, shaders. But also, if you go in the in-game tab, you can simply select allow yes to all Lord error and it's going to modify your Morrowind any file. You don't have to do anything with it. And this is what happens. You get cancel and it's going to go through all these errors, but it's not going to ask you what to do with it. To be perfectly honest, when I'm on my modding install, I don't have it because I like to see those warnings most of the time it's just the dialogue warnings and I don't care I can skip them but it's sometimes going to give me references about a script that hasn't been compiled about a duplicate reference and I like to have the reminder before I get modding that all oh, right I got to clean them anyway we're here before we start building anything we we need to have a look at uh, you know all those toys we have in there all these uh, Lego pieces to have a good look at them, where we're certainly not going to start modifying some cells in the game, we're going to create our own. So you go to World, Interior Cell, New. I just want to create a test cell, something where I can drop object, have a look at them, see if they work together, and I want to be able to access it quickly and easily, so I start with a 00, zero. Uh, it could be AA, it could be space, exclamation mark, anything that goes before the letter A. I create it. Right. And now, if you look in your cell view, you see it's at the very top. One of the other things you see is it has a little asterisk. Anything that has an asterisk is something that you, in your mod, have modified. Well, most of the time you do want to modify things, but sometimes you're going to um, move something without really realizing and create this modification. We'll look at that later. 
quickly in my interior cell you can decide on the ambient light so you could want to have a very red surrounding so it's just going to be very red but really i don't want that i'm gonna leave it dark doesn't matter the sunlight usually is that thing that's for interiors with windows and it's kind of natural if you wanted to do a, a tomb for example probably you you know go something darker again doesn't really matter right now because this is going to be a room for you to look at in your construction set I'm gonna go ahead and show you that if you make it behave like exterior it's gonna add water to it and you can choose the weather you want you can even create custom weather but that's a different story I'm gonna leave the house water so you can see it I don't care that people can't sleep there will never go in game in it in your cell view double click on your cell and pronto there's your cell the point of this cell is for you to try things out have a look at the objects get to you get to oh my goodness get to know them there we go who uh, I could be I could be looking at the books and go all right okay oh this is really dark because right now I have absolutely no lighting I'm gonna go and click on this icon to have the the lights this is going to give me 100% bright light which is the best thing when you're actually moving things around you want to see what's happening and so you look at things brilliant now I've double clicked on it and this is what I get if I double click on any other one you see we only get half of it it's because these are the settings this is a anything connected with this ID this is what you get the, the reference data below, this is for the one that is right here. Let's, uh, thank you, thank you. So what you can do is change the position. We'll look at that in the next video. For now, I just want to give you a massive, massive, massive warning. <clears throat> do not hit save unless you actually really truly want and need to modify this object because you're going to create dirty references you're going to change something that is not intended and your game is going to well eventually have enough of these dirty references and your game is gonna you know go bonkers uh, for example I'm gonna up close that not save it here I'm just going to show you the level right now I moved it down the Z axis so the vertical axis and I hit zero to put it on the same level as the water and it's gone well it's not gone really it's just much much lower so you're gonna have to move around to find it the basic way to move around in uh, the render window is to press spacebar and then move your mouse but you see this is gonna take forever to find where where, where the book went so cell view select your cell and you see these are all the objects in that cell double click on it and there you are and right now right now there is our object to find it easily once it's been selected you can uh, double click there but if you move around and you lose it again and go oh, crap where is it when an object is selected if you press T you're going to have uh, the overview like so and see you're going to see it from the side why not using your mouse wheel you can zoom in and out this is the space bar to move around and then if you hit shift or hold shift rather you can actually rotate around your object as well there you see it there it's tiny because I zoomed out now what you really want to do is get acquainted with the naming system really it's just you get used to it you will know very quickly that BM is going to be items from Blood Moon that anything starting with X these are objects we find in the exterior flora is going to be the plants just really go ahead and explore have a look and usually having a look at the objects you're gonna go all right this I don't know I could probably could do I don't know I want to use it as a bench in my garden I have no idea but seeing the objects is actually going to inspire you feel free to look around however remember you do not want 
to hit save because you're going to create a dirty reference and you know you've done that because now you have that infamous little asterisk. I'm going to leave it so that when we clean the mod later on you see you see what happens but right now we have a dirty reference whereas if I hit cancel or uh, the little cross over there we're not gonna have the asterisk that's it for today you have your your homework oh my god I'm such a teacher but really have a look at the construction set have a look at the object drag them around look at what they do try things out just remember don't save except when you're done you want to save your mod what am I gonna call that mm, learning things there we go. This is it. That's it for today, guys. Thank you. See you next week. Bye-bye.